first of all, we have worship workout time with Naomi and Natalie. Today's Bible story is with me, Granny, and Pastor Nathan. Girls at Brickbrillium and all the boys and girls who are watching today. I've got a visitor here with me today. Isn't that right, Max? Shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me. Today we even have more of the boys and girls. equipment at home but I've got weights, a hula hoop and a skipping rope so I need you to get up on your feet and we're gonna pop it out <laughs> my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do In the beginning God made everything God simply spoke and the world came to be He sent a flood and made everything new He parted the sea his people walk through He helped a boy bring a giant right down Joshua marched the walls fell to the ground These acts of power are worthy of praise But if you want to question my God and his way, I'll look you in the eye and say My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do So strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do Though we are sinners He still gave us worth God sent His Son To live here on the earth He healed the sick He made blind men see He let the lame walk And He set the world free He died on a cross And He rose from the So strong and 
chapter 10 and the story starts at verse 25. There was a man who was on a journey one day and while he was on the journey there was these bad men that decided that they were going to beat him up. Can you believe that Granny and Susan? No! Oh, they were bad men and they not only beat him up but they stole his money oh, and no. they took his clothes. Do and do you know what they did with the poor man? Oh, they left him lying at the side of the road. What? Oh, poor dear. man. The man was so sad, he was so sore, and he was all alone. Uh -huh. Well, oh. all of a sudden, this man could hear the sound of footsteps. Ooh, and he thought to himself, Who is that? I need somebody to help me. Oh, I'm so sore. I'm so sad. I wonder will this person help me? And they heard the footsteps. Ooh. Getting louder. Whoa. The man's passing this way. <gasps> well, the man at the side of the road cried out saying, help me, help me, help me. Yes. The man who was passing by was a priest, Ooh. a very, very religious man. Wow. Surely, Granny, you would think that this man would help him out. That's right, Nathan. Well, Granny, guess what? What? The man just walked past the priest, didn't Ooh. want to help. Oh dear, her man. The man at the side of the road was so sad. He says, I'm never going to get help. I'm all alone. I'm going to die here. Aww. But then he heard the sound of footsteps again. Oh, and it was getting closer and closer oh. until he says, help me. Help me. I need help. I've been robbed and beaten. Oh. This was a Levite. Oh. <gasps> Another very religious person. You would think, Granny and Susan, that they would help, wouldn't you? Yes, yeah. right. That's the right thing to do. Well, guess what, Susan? What? The Levite came past. He looked down and says, I'm not going to help. 
God, he walked to the other side of the road. Oh, no. Oh, the man was so oh. sad. He cried and he cried. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, he heard the sound of footsteps again. Wow. By now, the man thought, nobody's going to help me. I don't think this man will help me either. No. But he heard the footsteps getting louder and louder. Yes. And he cried out, help me. I've been beaten up and I have been robbed and left all alone. I need help. Help him. This man who was passing by was a Samaritan. Oh. He was actually a man who was an enemy. The Jews and Samaritans did not get on. No. Would you think that the Samaritan would help the Jew? No. no. That's what I thought. Yeah. But the Bible tells us that the Samaritan, he showed compassion and was kind to the man at the side of the road. Wow. He picked him up huh? and he brought him down to a place to get the man made better. Yay. And he left money with the person who owned the, the inn. And he oh. says, whatever it's going to cost to help him, yes. I will pay it. Wow! What an amazing man that Samaritan yes. was. So kind! Boys and girls, we're going to go to the scene that I have been telling you about. And there's going to be a number of people is going to tell you the story and acting of what I have just told you. Enjoy this story. Wow.
right and cared for him through the night. The good Samaritan was friend. The good Samaritan lent a hand. The priest and the locals were the neighbors that day. They saw the man but looked away. The next day he let the innkeeper know. I'll pay you now, then I'll have to go. But please look after this oh. man. And when oh. I return, I'll pay you again. Thank you so much. Who ever thought he would I get a hand I from a so Samaritan much. man? The good Samaritan was friend. The good Samaritan lent a hand. The priest and the locals were not dead. They saw the man but looked away. Looked away, looked away. Took us to my return, was afraid. boys and girls are asking the same question. What does that story mean? Well, let me tell you. Jesus was asked a question one day by a very smart and intelligent man known as a lawyer. The lawyer asked him, what must I do to have eternal life? What? In other words, what must I do yeah. to get to heaven? That's right. So Jesus said, Hmm. I'm going to tell him a parable. Now, what's a parable? A parable is an earthly story that has a heavenly meaning. Oh, wow. that's right. I love those stories. So Jesus told them this parable, the parable that we have just explained. And what this parable means is that Jesus is telling us we have to love the Lord our God yeah. with all of our heart, yeah. our soul, our yeah. mind and our strength. That's right. We're to love God first yeah. and then we're to love our neighbour as ourselves. That's right. But Granny and Susan, here's a question. Yes. Who is our neighbour? The man, the lawyer, asked Jesus that question. Well, who is my neighbour? Yeah. Jesus told him this story, which basically says that everybody yeah. is our neighbour, even those who don't like us. Even our, those who don't like us. That's right, oh. our enemies. Yeah. We are to love God and love everybody. Even, Pastor Nathan, even bullies at school. As hard as it is, Susan, oh, we have no. to show love to everybody. Yes, Susan. And Jesus says if we will love God and we will love people, we will have eternal life. Wow. That's very good. So I hope, Susan, you're being nice to everybody. Oh, I will try and be like the good Samaritan. <laughs> right and maybe this week boys and girls with your help of your mommy or your daddy maybe you could do something nice for somebody this week let me do something nice yes yeah. granny yes you have a lovely cardigan oh ho, 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 ho. yes and your hair is beautiful oh thank you i heard it for her did yes. you yeah yes well, Susan, what? you have to do kind things, even for Granny, who isn't fit maybe to do as much as what she used to be able to do. Yeah. And for neighbours. Yeah. Yes, boys and girls, you listen to the story of what Nathan said out of God's word. And always 
is right. Yes. Well, boys and girls, thank you for listening to the story. Thank you, Granny, for having me today. Yes, you're and, welcome. And thank you, Susan, for having me. Oh, thanks for coming. It, it has been my pleasure yeah. to be with you today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Say bye-bye to Nathan. Bye. Bye-bye, boys and girls from Granny. And Susan. Bye. Hello, everybody at home and boys and girls. As you can see, I've got a visitor here with me today. Isn't that right, Max? Yeah, he's going to help me tell you some good news. So we're back here at Kids Church HQ and we have got loads of more things coming for you. Isn't that right? What's up? What's up? Oh, we've got a song? What? From who? Hold on, I'll try and get it. I can't get it, Max. What is it? Oh, Amber and Travis and... Who else? Oh, my goodness me. Also, Rebecca. She has also told us a song, Max. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I can't believe this. Well, boys and girls, I'm going to let you go and go watch them. Max here is getting a bit too excited. But anyway, boys and girls, go and watch the clips and they're going to be coming your way now. Enjoy. My real kitty. I'm putting in my lemon I'm going to put some sweet treats in it. Last one. Oh, look at the beard slime. In the Hello. Right. And lean not. On your is own understanding. Proverbs 3 and 5. It says in Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust the Lord your God with all your heart. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Mark chapter 12, verse 30.
shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me you know me and you love me you feel me so send me to shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me know me love me feel me send 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 me to shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me you know me and you love me you feel me so send me to shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world may see you live in me yay Woo! well done well everybody done. <laughs>